changing colors. The magical science tree is changing from white to green. And it's growing 10 times as big. Oh. What's going on? Not only does the submarine float, we made a submarine that could swim down and up in the water. Wow, science is so cool. What's up, family? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. Today, we are looking at the craziest science experiments ever. Smash like on today's video if you want to know how to make these really cool science experiments at your house. Let's get this video to 15,000 likes, family. I know we can do it. See, watch, and learn. <laughs> Super easy. Oh, flowers! What kind of science experiment are we gonna be making with those? Oh, those are roses, and that means that they have pointy, spiky things on their bodies or stems. Oh! Why is he cutting the rose in different pieces? He's slicing it like I slice a piece of chocolate cake. But I always wanna eat the cake after! And now we're filling up glasses with water. Ooh, with food coloring too. Those are pretty colors. So we take the colors and wrap an elastic band around them. And then you stick all the different pieces of the rose inside the food coloring? Uh, I don't think this is a science experiment. I think the rose is just thirsty. But shh, nobody tell the rose that she's not drinking different flavor juices. And she's actually just drinking colored water. What is going on here? <gasps> Wait, what's going on to the petals? Why are they changing colors? Whoa! The flower is drinking the colored water and turning different colors! The petals are all the different colors just like the sky. It's just like a galaxy rose. Whoa, that is a cool science experiment. And family, you can try this at home. If you got a rose, some water, and a bell stack. Some secrets. Because seriously, the rose still has no idea. Family, comment down below. Fun as a secret word of today's video. And I'll heart your comment. Next science experiment, we got uh, some water. Oh, and food coloring again. But we shake it, shake it, shake it, family. Because maybe we're making a milkshake. Uh, uh, oh, uh, with baby oil. Oh, and with shaving cream. You can't eat shaving cream. I don't care how much it looks like Cool Whip. So we have the baby oil and the shaving cream on top. And now we're adding in the blue food coloring. Whoa! Holy chicken nuggets! Look at the glass of baby oil. It's raining gumdrops. Or blue Skittles or, or um, food coloring drops that you can't really eat because it's already in baby oil and you can't eat baby oil and you definitely cannot eat shaving cream, family. I already told you that. Sometimes you just do not listen. But super epic science experiment. New science experiment, family. What would happen if we mix a red huggy buggy and a fast shredder? Well, I think you could probably guess. Oh, it's not that good. Does so that look painful? But family, family, what about if we mix a jelly huggy wuggy with a shredder too? Oh, this one's gonna be crazy. Three, two. One! No, Huggy! <gasps> no, Huggy! He vanished so soon. <laughs> Surprisingly, the Shredder like to eat Huggy Wuggy a lot more than they like to eat the Jello. Um, excuse me, Fast Shredder. Have you never heard of dessert? Cause that stuff's tasty. And the uh, Huggy Wuggy, uh, not so much. Ugh. Wait a second, there's another Huggy Wuggy stuck in Jello. Oh no, how's this one gonna end? Oh. Huggy Wuggy got shredded so hard that he's gonna be mushy just like the jelly. And I don't think you wanna eat Huggy Wuggy flavored jello. I heard it tastes like children's tears. Oh, what are we coloring for our next science experiment? 
I, I think those are boats. But I, I don't think that's the type of boats that go on top of the water. I think they're the type of boats that go under. Wait, wait, what is the word for that? Subdean, subcarine, subway? Mm, sandwiches. Oh, wait a second. They're called submarines. They go swimmy, swimmy under the water with the fishies. Okay, so we color in the submarines and then we cut them out with... <gasps> With scissors! Oh no, family! Y'all know how I feel about scissors! Mr. Submarine Making Dude, you better be using scissor safety. Because if you're not using scissor safety with submarines, then Miss Alexia from Anything Alexia is gonna be kinda mean. Because we gotta be careful! But now we put the submarines in this plastic stuff and boom, we cut them out again. And now with a bendy straw? What is that for? And how is this supposed to be a science experiment? Okay, we put the bendy straw in the back of the submarine. And now we're attaching some paper clips to it? Huh? What are we gonna do with this submarine? Oh, man, I think we're actually gonna put it in water. <laughs> but in a water bottle. <gasps> What's going on? Not only does the submarine float, we made a submarine that could swim down and up in the water. Wow, this science is so cool. So family, all you gotta do is make something that floats. And then when you put it in your water bottle, you give it a little squishy squish. And then the pressure from the water makes the submarine go up and down. Wow, so cool. My mind is literally blown. Oh, more water. And it's coming out of a stream. But that water must be coming out so fast that it looks like a see-through pasta noodle. Oh, man. I kind of wish I could eat it. Or I guess drink it because it's water. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But how does water make a science experiment? Hmm, okay, we got some water and we got a phone. What's that on his phone, family? Let's see here. Is he playing some music? What's it say there? Frequency. I guess he's changing the frequency of something. So we press the frequency button and what happened? <gasps> Whoa! What the chicken nugget? The different frequency is making the water change shapes. It went from one long and lanky pasta noodle to some weird squiggly thing that kind of reminds me of Bobby Longlegs' weird hair. Do y'all see that too? Because I'm just saying it looks kind of sick. Family, this is such a cool science experiment. We literally got the water to start dancing. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, water, turn up. Buddy knows how to boogie better than me. Kind of jealous. What is our next science experiment gonna be, family? Oh! It looks like we're gonna be making a tree. Okay, we put in some super magical liquid. Oh. And it looks like the tree is drinking it! What kind of science magic are we about to see? Because I'm excited! Wait, look at that family! Something's growing on the outside of the tree! Is that icicles? Snow? The ground that Elsa walks on and frozen? That stuff looks a little chilly. <gasps> It's changing colors. The magical science tree is changing from white to green. And it's growing 10 times as big. Whoa, family, how is it doing that? I think there's something in that magical liquid that once the tree soaks it up, then the liquid turns to crystals. Ooh, crystals. You think we could sell those for money? Because I need more cash to buy more chocolate bars. Bobby says I eat too many Kit Kats and won't buy them for me anymore. Oh, a balloon from a birthday party. Oh, oh, why would they do that? What kind of science experiment just makes balloons go? Not fun. Clearly that one little pin doesn't like birthday parties. It is no fun. Wait, what are they doing now, family? Now we don't just have one pin. We have a hundred. Oh, man. What kind of science experiment are we going to do with all of these? Orange balloon versus hundreds of pins. Who is gonna win? Comment down below your guesses. Three, two, one! Uh, uh wait, wait a second. What's going on here? Why isn't the balloon popping? 
green. It's almost like magic. Actually, maybe not magic. Maybe it's actually science. Because I heard there's a logical explanation for this. Apparently, the one pin will pop a balloon because it's a lot of pressure in that one point. But when you have so many different pins, just like this one, the pressure is equally distributed around the balloon. So that instead of one giant poke, it's like a hundred baby pokes. And what do we love about babies, family? That they don't pop balloons! And next up in science, um, the toilet paper. Uh, what's going on here? We are scribbling all over these toilet paper pieces. And we are coloring them in blue. One was orange, one was blue. <laughs> and now we're rolling it like a hot dog on these pointy wooden sticks. Oh, look how many different ones there are. We got one, two, three, and yeah, I lost count. But there's a lot, okay? But they're all different colors, too. And now he has a water dropper and he's putting it on them. Whoa! Look at this family! When you put the water on them, it turns the toilet paper into worms! Um, worms are kind of icky. And they also kind of smell bad. And they're also kind of slimy. Oh! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But it is good to know that I could make a worm whenever I want. We got a baby bottle and a big bottle. And now there's water inside of the big bottle. Wait, is that blueberry juice inside of that bowl? And a candle. Oh! They're both blue. Maybe it's Huggy Wuggy's birthday. Oh, man, I forgot to text them. And now we are turning on the candle and covering it with the bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the chicken nugget is happening? When you put the big bottle over top of the candle, it makes a spinny tornado and sucks up the juice. Whoa. I mean, this science experiment was cool and all. But who is going to tell Huggy Wuggy that we just broke his birthday cake? Okay, family, the science behind this experiment is that when the fire from the candle mixes with the liquids in the bottle, it creates a crazy kind of pressure that makes the tornado. And then that's how the suction sucks up all the liquid. This experiment is pretty crazy, so do not try this at home without your parents. Because blowing out candles is fun, but not catching things on fire is even more fun. Safety first. And then fun after. If you like today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.